Data, human beings generating large amount of data each day with the usage of technology such as our mobile phone, laptop, and etc. Our data is then collected by enterprises to serve a variety of functions to benefit both them and the consumers. Spurred by digital transformations, organizations are forced with increasing amount of data which has led to the evolutions of enterprise management and data structure. In 2011, Forbes released an article titled Big Data Requires a Big New Architecture, which highlighted the need to rethink data repository, entertaining the notions of data lake as opposed to the data warehouse. So in this episode, we will be looking into these two terms to understand what's so different about them. When we think about lake, we'll think about a large body of water that contains different parts of an ecosystem. A data lake works in essentially the same way, where you can dump a data indiscriminately. And in effect, you have large amount of uncategorized data in a single repository until the need or opportunity arises to search through the lake to find an answer to an enterprise's questions. A data warehouse, on the other hand, is what one may call a more rigid approach of data architecture. Just like an retail warehouse that categorize boxes of product as soon as they arrive by assigning shelf numbers, a data warehouse decides early on the importance of new data. While it may sound more organized to have that data categorized early on, it doesn't allow organizations to make most of the data they are receiving as the true value of the data is yet unknown. Let's dive a little deeper and look at the specifics of the differences between a data lake and a data warehouse. From the little that we have discussed, we can summarize one of the differences between the two is that data lakes contain raw and unprocessed data, while data warehouses contain processed and refined data. This also means that data lakes capture all types of data formats, while data warehouses do not. In terms of data sources, data lakes can accommodate data sources of any kind. This includes both structured as well as unstructured data. So think of things like images, free text, audio and video files, emails, social media data, and etc. On the other hand, data warehouses can only accommodate structured data. This means data with a predefined data model, format, or structure, such as numbers, addresses, and transaction data, and other things that you typically find in your relational DB, spreadsheets, and other sources. Due to their differences in data structure and formats, it is no wonder that data lakes and data warehouses have different purposes. Being more structured and selective of the data they hold, data warehouses may be easier for business users as they can handle the basic functions of batch reporting, BI, and visualization. Conversely, with large amounts of raw data, pipelines need to be deployed to prepare and clean data from data lakes. In addition, for organizations looking into data lakes, it is important to keep in mind that a lake can eventually turn into a swamp if the data is left unused. CloudMount has been working on ways to improve data architectures. With BigQuery as the cloud-native data warehouse, CloudMount helps businesses gain insights with real-time and predictive analytics. Alongside that, BigQuery ML allows you to execute machine learning models through simple SQL queries on BigQuery. That's all for this episode. Goodbye and see you next time.